Welcome back to Studio 701. May is National Beef Month, and we've been learning some great information from the North Dakota Beef Commission. I got to speak with Bridget Bollinger, a registered dietitian, about some of the benefits of eating beef. So right off the bat, Bridget, I think a question that many of us have is how much protein, which is found in beef, mm -hmm. should we be consuming? Right now, with the recommended dietary guidelines, we're looking at trying to focus people for their meals at 30, 30, 30. So looking at getting 30 grams of protein, using lean beef is a great example to get that in there. Um, but 30 grams of protein at each of your meals is a good place to start and an easy number to remember. Yeah, so 90 all together for a whole day. Yep, and it's important to keep them in different increments throughout the day too so that you're not just going overboard at one meal, um, making sure you're incorporating a breakfast, lunch, and dinner to make sure that it's all used throughout the day correctly. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the proteins that people go to is beef, as we mentioned. So. Can you tell us a little bit about the nutritional value of consuming beef? Well, beef obviously is giving you a lot of your protein, but it also ha has important nutrients. It has your some of your B vitamins, niacin, iron, um, different things that are helpful throughout your processes. So you wanna make sure that you're looking for nutrient dense foods and then pairing beef with fruits, vegetables, whole grains really completes your picture of a nice plate to have a well-rounded nutritional eating experience. And you gave examples of some of those nutrients. Um, tell us a little bit about what these nutrients actually do for the body. They are helpful with your immune system, they help with your brain function, and then obviously your protein is needed for your muscles and building muscle. What advice do you have for those of us uh, raising young children um, in terms of making sure that they have beef in their diet? Well, the dietary guidelines allow for you to start offering beef to children as young as six months, as long as you're following the appropriate ways to prepare it for that age group. But making sure that you're introducing nutrient-dense foods at a young age is super important, and beef is definitely part of that. And then, of course, going into your school-age children, the stats show that um, kids these days are not getting enough protein and making sure that the protein that you are providing your children is the most nutritionally beneficial to them. So offering beef is obviously a great part of a kid's diet. Pairing it, of course, with those veggies and those right, fruits. Right. <laughs> Can't stress that enough, right? <laughs> yep, add in the whole grains and the fruits and vegetables, of course, too. How does beef stack up against other proteins? One of the great benefits of beef is with a three ounce serving, you're looking at less calories compared to other forms of protein. So you're getting your protein, you're getting your iron, you're getting your niacin, you're getting your other um, nutrients from that, but you're not taking in all the extra calories that you might from other sources. You have brought some great examples and we have them here on display. Can you go over what we have? Sure. And these are kind of great grilling options, but we have a ribeye, New York strip we have a sirloin that is a mock filet mignon and then of course our beef patty and this is a 85 percent lean ground beef patty and are there any recipes that come to mind that you could suggest to our viewers out there that incorporates the beef uh, recommendations and you know the beef and protein recommendations that you talked about we have a great website, ndbeef.org, so I would highly recommend going and checking that out. Most people have their kind of staple beef menus or meal plans that they go to, but for a variety of different recipes and lots and lots of other options, check out ndbeef.org. And once again, for more information, go to ndbeef.org for some of those recipes. Okay, well, I, some great information right there, and I know that I always need to be eating more protein, so it's a good reminder about that. But this did kind of get us talking because I'm I'm hungry right now. <laughs> like I'm thinking I need to get my protein in for the day. Well, what's your favorite, yeah, Nat? When you have that to look at, <laughs> it definitely makes you hungry. Uh, my favorite cut of meat is going to be a filet mignon. If I'm trying to budget, I'll go for a sirloin. 
because it's a little bit cheaper. Um, but I absolutely love going to Longhorn. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I'm all about supporting local, but for some reason, Longhorn just knows how to do it. Um, and then topping off my steak with either an onion topping, mushroom topping, or a blue cheese topping. Sometimes all three. Like, I do not mind that at all. Um, just a little bit of A1 sauce. I know someone's going to be like, no, you don't put A1 <laughs> sauce on steak. Like, if you're doing it right, you don't need don't any of that. Don't feel bad about but it. <laughs> just a teeny bit. Uh, that, yeah, definitely my favorite cut of meat. I also like steak fajitas. Um, and then, you know, carne asada, carne asada burrito or tacos. Yeah. <laughs> just play her out. Just She's take, just going to keep listening. I can talk about food. We're all hungry for me now. Just keep going, Matt. <laughs>